Hi, it's Stefano Malay here, San Diego criminal defense lawyer and partner at the Office of David P. Shapiro, where we help good people regain control of their future when charged with a crime. A common question I get from my state court clients is, are the feds going to take over my case? The reason why clients ask this is because no one wants their case to go federal. In the federal system, there are high minimum mandatories to contend with and strict and sometimes inflexible standards um, if there is, in fact, a sentencing on the case. And the reason why trial can seem more daunting in federal is because the possible punishment, um, if there is a conviction, is usually much higher than in the state court. Also, if um, serving time in the Federal Bureau of Prisons, you're automatically going to serve 85% uh, on most sentences, although there may be opportunities to participate in programs to lessen the time. On the other hand, if someone goes down in state court and goes to state prison, not only will the sentence usually be less, but you usually serve less than 85%, especially since the passing of Prop 57 in California. Unfortunately, there's no rhyme or reason for when the United States Attorney's Office decides to take over a case from the District Attorney's Office. However, there are some things that increase the chances, and currently, lots of guns and fentanyl will definitely attract the attention of the feds. Fentanyl is killing a lot of people and extremely dangerous, so the feds have taken a special interest. There's also uh, intelligence that may attract the feds to a particular person if they think he or she's sort of a big fish or can lead to a big fish. So that's about it. Hope this general discussion was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. Stefano Malaya, San Diego Criminal Defense Attorney, 619-295-3555.